In this quick video, we're going to review the Shadowhawk X800 Tactical Flashlight. I got it as a gift, and we're going to test it up against the Zoomable eBay flashlight for $6, the Convoy S2 Plus for around $14, and the Skyray King for $30. The light output is comparable to the eBay flashlight Zoomable, and the build quality and the parts inside, the driver, the LED, the tail switch, and the threads, they're all about the same quality as the eBay flashlight as well. I've taken it apart, I compared the parts to the eBay flashlight and they're about identical or equivalent. The quality of the Convoy S2 Plus is definitely a lot better. The flashlight will last you if you go hiking, if you go camping, you need a flashlight that lasts a long time. The Convoy S2 Plus is worth the $14 that you pay for it. It gives you double the quality, double the durability, and definitely double the value. If you need the brightest light out there, the Skyray King gives you that. As you can see on this bar graph, the Skyray King is off the charts compared to the eBay flashlight or the Convoy S2 Plus. The Convoy S2 Plus gives you a lot more light compared to the others as well. It's worth every penny. So in summary, the value for the dollar for the X800 is 4.5 out of 10. The eBay flashlight, 9 out of 10. The Convoy S2 Plus is 10 out of 10. And the Skyray King is 9 out of 10. So if you just base your decision on a score out of 10, those are what you would use. And my recommendation would be the Convoy S2 Plus for a single celled flashlight and the Skyray King if you need lots of light output. If you want to hear about each test category, you can stay for the rest of the video. Otherwise, that's basically my summary. So in taking a look at the LED in the flashlight, currently there's a bunch of different manufacturers that make LEDs, but one of the most popular ones is Cree. And they made first the XML, and then afterwards they came out with the second version, the XML2. It puts out 16% more light, and it's rated at 116 lumens per watt. And the XML, the old version, is 100 lumens per watt. The X800 uses the old one, the 100 lumens per watt. So it's nothing revolutionary, and it's not a new LED. If you want the most light output possible, then get the XML2, which is in the Convoy S2 Plus and WF501B on eBay and even some of the zoomables have it, but not the ones I have. By putting the XML2 in the Skyray King, you get the most light output, so you just get a hand cannon basically. And the XMLs and XML2s are good at overdriving. If you overdrive it, it gives you that much more light. The efficacy decreases a little bit, but it doesn't decrease that quickly. So my recommendation is to get the XML2 in your flashlights, and that gives you the most amount of light for the amount of power you're putting in. If you're not worried about light output and you just want a cheap flashlight, go with the older XML. The next test category is the lumen output from the LED. I've tested the current draw of the X800 with an 18650 and three AAA batteries, and then I calculated the lumen output based on that, and that's what you see here. 629 lumens on an 18650, and then if you replace that with three AAA batteries, you get 379 lumens. Keep in mind that AAA alkaline batteries will only last you 30 minutes because they're very low capacity. If you use the LG 3500 mAh 18650, you'll get over two hours on high. The $6 eBay flashlight pretty much had the same output, so 611 lumens, and it couldn't fit AAA batteries in it. The Convoy S2 Plus uses 2.8 amps, so it gives you 1180 lumens, which is quite a bit. It's probably the highest that you're going to get out of a single-celled flashlight. And then we've got the Skyray King pushing over 10,000 lumens, and you can't really measure it because it's pulling so much power. There's no meter really that I have that could measure it. And if you do put wires in there to meter it, you're increasing the resistance, and then you're not getting a proper reading anyways. So this flashlight runs at over 85 watts peak, 75 watts continuous, and that gives you 10,000 lumens at least. The lumen output of the LED is good to look at, but then you really have to look at the optics of the flashlight. If it's a reflector-based optic and it's high quality, it'll push all that light forward, and you get 98% of the light. If the optics are poor, then you're going to get 70% of the light. So it makes a big difference to have high quality optics. The Convoy S2 Plus seems like it has great optics, and the Skyray King has pretty good optics as well. The zoomable flashlights has a problem with the optics. When it's opened out and flooding, it puts out quite a bit of light. Still not as much as the Convoy S2 Plus, but the X800 registers about 31 lux on my light meter. The zoomable registers 28 lux. Convoy S2 Plus registers 40 lux, which is pretty good. And then the Skyray King registers way more than that, 364. Now here's the problem with the zoomable flashlights. When you go to zoom in, you lose two-thirds of that light output because it gets stuck inside the cylinder. All the light gets absorbed into the wall of the cylinder, and only some of the light makes it out the front. As you can see here, when I zoom it in, it drops to 8 lux, and then when I zoom it out, the lux increases again. Typically, with reflector-based optics, you can't change the zoomability or distribution any. 
but if you can get diffusing paper out of an old iPhone screen, you can cut it to shape and put it at the front. So you can put it on your flashlight and make it more of a flood distribution. That allows you to work on your car engine or in tight spaces easily. You can keep the optics with your battery and then you can use it when you need it. So if you have an old iPhone screen or an old LCD screen, you can pull the diffusing paper out of there. It's high quality optics and lets through like 95% of your light so you don't lose anything. When I test it, I lose almost no light when I diffuse it, and you don't have that hot spot in the middle anymore. So if you don't want that hot spot, just put on a piece of paper, diffuse it, and you won't even lose any light. It's a perfect way to make a fixed optic a changeable optic. So next up, we looked at the light distribution, and you'll see why I don't like the zoomable flashlights for outdoor use. It's great for working in and underneath your engine bay and in and around your car, but when you go to the trails, you'll see quickly why the sharp cutoff makes it hard to see to your left and right, or even where you're walking. In this demo, the Convoy S2 Plus gives you a beam angle of 20 degrees and a field angle of 73 degrees. The beam angle is the hot spot in the middle, and the field angle is how wide it goes before it drops off to about 10% of the light output. So as you can see, you want a light that has a good beam angle and a good field angle at the same time. The problem with the zoomable flashlight is that it can have a different beam angle from its field angle. They're both the same. So you either have 76 degrees and 76 degrees, or you zoom it in and you have 10 degrees and 10 degrees. So for instance, if you're on the sidewalk and you zoom it out, now you can't see far down the middle. And when you zoom it in to see far down the middle, you can't see anywhere around you. You won't see any rocks, you won't see anything that you might trip over. You're going to trip and fall and it's a dangerous light to use when you're walking around the trails or sidewalks. If you're actually going to use the light for tactical purposes, you're going to want a nice field angle so you can see people off to the side, any threats. And then you want a nice tight beam angle so you can focus into your target. So here we are in an alley. You can see that when it's zoomed out, you can't see very far away. And then when I go to zoom it in, now you can't see any objects to the left, right, and right in front of you. If anyone comes from the sides, it becomes pretty dangerous. And with the Convoy S2 Plus, you can see to your sides, peripheral vision, and see down the middle pretty well. You don't have to zoom in or zoom out and do all that stuff. So the Convoy S2 Plus, or any reflector-based flashlight, is going to work a lot better in tactical situations. So if you're a security guard or police officer and you need to go chasing people through the bushes and stuff, if you bust out your Skyray King, you can see anything in the bushes, see anything straight down the middle, off to the sides. If you see any movement, you can quickly focus on it and catch it. You can even see off far into the distance. Like you can look at this bridge up on this tree. So reflector based and high output is the way to go. Here I'm in the bush, you can barely see into the bushes. And then when I zoom in down the middle, sure I can see in down the middle, but I've only got two thirds the amount of light and I can't see to the left or right. So by testing this in the bushes, you can quickly see that a wide field angle and an average 20 degrees beam angle really helps you look around and focus on things and find things. So that quickly shows you why the reflector based down the sidewalk, the reflector based down the alley, and the reflector based in the trails really helps you see a lot of things. And the zoomable flashlights in the trails is very poor light to use. And then we took a look at the functionality, what modes the flashlight has and how do you get to those modes and whether it has memory or not. By memory, I mean if you want to get back to high, can you always get back to high or can you always get back to low? And is it on time memory or off time memory? By off time memory, I mean if you turn it off for more than three seconds, it's going to go back to high, otherwise it will go to the next mode. On time memory, it means you have to keep it on for three seconds, otherwise it won't remember that mode and it will go to the next mode the next time you turn it back on. The X800 actually has no memory and it just simply cycles through all the modes. So if you go to high and the next time you use the flashlight you want to go to high, you have to go through medium, low, strobe, and SOS. And that becomes a big problem because you're going to be using it on high, you go to use it again, it's on medium, you go to use it again, it's on low, and the next time you go to use it, it doesn't matter if it's a day later, five seconds later, it's going to go to strobe. And nobody wants to use their flashlight and go to strobe, then you have to cycle through SOS, then back to high. So nobody's going to want to do that, and that's the most annoying flashlight you could probably ever have. Most people won't even use the X800 because of that fact, and they'll probably just leave it on their dresser and never use it again. You're going to pick up a flashlight that has on-time memory or defaults to high, because anytime you use the flashlight, you don't want to go through the strobing modes. The Convoy S2 Plus actually has two groups. You can program it to have high, medium, and low, or you can program it to have those five modes, high, medium, low, SOS, and strobe. 
I usually keep it on high, medium, and low because I just use my flashlight as a flashlight, but it's always good to know you can easily program it to SOS or strobe if you want those. The Convoy S2 Plus has on-time memory and takes some getting used to, but it's just as good as off-time memory in my opinion. The Skyray King doesn't have a latching tail switch, which all the other ones have. It has a momentary button on the side and it cycles through high, medium, low, and then off. If you want to get it to strobe, you can hold it down while it's on or hold it down while it's off and it goes to strobe and then you cycle it again to go to off. So when you're buying flashlights on eBay, it'll say whether it has memory or not. If it doesn't say it has memory, then just assume that it cycles through the modes and that you're not going to use this flashlight if you buy it. If you want to order the Convoy S2 Plus, check out the cards. I've got a video to the Convoy S2 Plus review. Next, we took a look at the build quality of the X800 and compared it to everything else. And its build quality is similar to the eBay flashlight. If you check out the threads, they look comparable to the zoomable eBay flashlight and the Skyray King. The worst part about the X800 is that it has nothing behind the LED, so there's no thermal management and the heat has to move out to the edge, which barely even touches and doesn't even have thermal compound on there, and then it skates through the threads into the housing. So even if the X800 had more power pushing through it, it would probably burn out the LED soon enough or degrade it quickly because it has no thermal management. If you take a look at the Convoy S2 Plus, it's got a thick brass block and you could put heat sink compound on the back, put the LED on there, and the heat gets pulled away right into the block, out into your housing. So you keep the LED cool and keep it bright longer. LEDs don't burn out, but they do degrade. If you run them hot, then they're gonna degrade quicker. So they'll slowly get dimmer and dimmer, and you don't want your flashlight to be doing that. The cheap zoomable actually has a backing, and the Skyray King has okay thermal management. The X800 has a okay tail switch. It hasn't broken down or anything, but the problem is it uses two little tiny tabs to contact the outside housing and that's your only path of electrical conductivity so if those tabs break off or the tabs get corroded and the connection breaks then your flashlight's going to fail. The driver itself is a standard driver and it looks like all the other eBay flashlights I've purchased. It just uses a bank of current limiting resistors, a MOSFET and a controller. It's not the best driver but it's okay and works fine. The LED is an XML2 and it sits on a lattice bright star. I've tested these lattice bright XML LEDs and they're actually pretty good. They're comparable to all the other XMLs and they're just not that much worse than the XML2. So the LED that it uses is pretty good. It's just the other components that could use some upgrading. We'll take a look at the high run times and the low run times. On high mode, the flashlights don't last very long, but it's the low mode that you're interested in because if the power goes out and you've got to last two or three days without power or even a week, you don't want the flashlight using up all of your power. So if the driver can run at a very low mode, then you can have a long run time. The X800 can run about 8.1 hours. The Zoomable can run about 10.6 hours. The Convoy S2 Plus can run 25.2 hours because its low mode goes really low. And then the Skyray King runs at 8.2 hours because its low mode is actually not that low. Those run times are all based on using the LG 3500 milliamp hour 18650. And then if you use the X800 with AAA batteries, your run time won't be very long at all. It'll be about two hours on low. The reason that AAA batteries don't last long is because if you take a look at these graphs provided by Energizer, if you run these at 0.25 amps, then they don't give you much capacity. The capacity drops to less than half. So it's great that it uses AAA batteries, but you're going to be going through a lot of those AAA batteries, and you're best off just getting more 18650s if you need more runtime. And then when we looked at value for your dollar, I just looked at the price, looked at the overall quality and light output that you're getting, and obviously since the X800 doesn't have the backing for the LED, it's not a high quality light. I wouldn't trust it in the field. I wouldn't trust it camping or hiking where you need the light to stay on. So unfortunately, it costs more than the Convoy S2 Plus, and the Convoy S2 Plus is built much stronger. You can drive over that thing, it's a tank, and it doesn't give you much light output compared to the Convoy S2 Plus or the Skyray. My conclusion is that you're probably best off buying a $6 eBay flashlight. I'll put some links in the description, you can check them out. And if you're willing to pay over 10 bucks for a flashlight, I recommend the Convoy S2 Plus. That's the flashlight I recommend to all my friends and family, and when you order it, it comes with a nice little box so you can give it away as a gift, or just keep it for yourself. And obviously, if you want the most powerful flashlight in the world, get something like the Skyray King. They have the 7x, 8x, 9x, 10x, and I think they even have the 21x LED flashlight. I think the 21 is a little crazy, but when you want power, you need power. The 7x is good enough for me, and it's definitely bright and lights everything up. You can light up the entire side of a building, light up an entire trail, park, whatever you want. So I hope that review sheds some light on the X800. 
in comparison to another eBay zoomable flashlight, the Convoy S2 Plus, and the Skyray King. Thanks for watching, and I hope that helps. I just ran at the camera with the Skyray King, probably couldn't see a single thing.